Dominic Christian says her four year old son, Carter Christian, is a little warrior. She says the first thing that he said to her at the hospital was he wanted his blanket and his juice. She says he has a broken leg, is very lucky to be alive, thanks to some quick thinking neighbors and police officers. To see my baby just. <laughs> Go down. Dominique Christian says she is still in shock from seeing her son alive and alert at Lincoln Hospital. He narrowly escaped death, falling from the six story window Tuesday afternoon at the Patterson Houses. The toddler suffering a broken leg. He's a fighter. He, he, he was meant to be here. Christian showed us the window near his bunk bed where he fell six floors to this grassy area that she believes broke his fall. This is what it looked like Tuesday afternoon. That piece of blue cloth hanging where there appears to be no window guards visible is where Christian says her son fell through. NYCHA workers were busy Wednesday securing the window unit. I'm angry, I'm hurt, I'm enraged, and all I could do was just thank God. Thank God for the officers, thank God for everybody. Police say the incident is under investigation, and NYCHA tells PIX11 window guards are present throughout the apartment where required and were last checked in February. New York City requires all apartments with children 10 and under living in them to have window guards. I feel her. I've been through it. Janine Malav says when she heard the news, she immediately thought of her own son. It was September 11, 2019. PIX11 News spoke to this mother of three who says she installed an air conditioning unit in her seventh floor apartment at the Sotomayor houses. Somehow her three-year-old son pulled it out of the window and climbed out onto the ledge and onto the scaffolding. It was all captured on video. Now I'm in a new building, new apartment, in the same location. But I'm still afraid. Christian urges all parents living in NYCHA to check their windows right now, especially if they have air conditioning units. Christian says in order to visit her son now, she has to be accompanied by a social worker. Christian says she'll be bringing his blanket and his favorite teddy bear to the hospital and will be by his side until he makes a full recovery. She calls him her little miracle man.